Well, it appears that no news that comes out of woke SJW Disney appears to be good. That's just the, the blunt and brutal reality of it all. Because you go woke, you go broke. It's not just simply a vain, empty phrase. It's actually just the blunt and brutal reality that a lot of these blue-haired, feministic SJW weirdos on Twitter don't want to, don't really want to accept. But, you know, I've covered before on Disney Plus how they're failing miserably. And here's just another example, because really no news that comes out of Disney seems to be good. And that's just another example of this. It says you're on a... Uh, IGN, Disney Plus sees first quarterly subscriber loss as growth lags well behind Netflix. This is back in February. It's only gotten worse since then. Domestic subscribers grow in the last quarter but are not the same place, sorry, the same pace as Disney Plus competitors. Disney Plus lost 2.4 million subscribers between October 2022 and December 2022, making this trading service the first report of the decline since it launched in late 2019. The news of the subscriber decline comes from Disney's Q1 2023 financial results. The loss was explained by, oh, sorry, by a 3.8 million subscriber decline in Disney Plus Hotstar, which is the version of the platform in India and parts of Southeast Asia. Disney Plus is losing subscribers because of Hotstar, uh, uh, was expected by analysts. Yeah, and it's only gotten a whole lot worse since then. Continuing on the article, subscribers in the U.S. and Canada saw a slight growth between or during the period, increasing from 46.4 million to 46.6 million. As of December 31st, 2022, the overall number of Disney Plus subscribers stands at 161.8 million, down from 164.2 million at the start of October. Disney's other streaming services, Hulu and ESPN, which grew uh, 2% to 48 million and 24.9 million subscribers, respectively. Disney Plus subscriber growth is lagging well behind Netflix. The competing streaming service added another 7.7 uh, .7 million global users in its final three months of 2022 as it gears up to fully enforce its password sharing uh, its password sharing crackdown. Overall, Disney saw 23.5 billion in revenue, the, an 8% a year-over-year year increase that jump in revenue was largely blocked back by Disney Parks, which saw a 27% increase in revenue compared to last year. Well, that has since changed. They've actually worked. They were actually empty on July 4th. They have, the parks have always been kind of their back of source. Now even that is failing too. They've been failing on all fronts. Continuing on, this is the first quarterly earnings call since Bob Iger returned to his role as Disney CEO, replacing Bob Chapek. In the report, Iger said Disney is embarking on significant transformation that will uh, rehab our company around creativity while reducing expenses. Well, that didn't seem to work with Indiana Jones, where they had three hundred million dollar budget and are not even not even just doing okay, but failing to actually break even. You know, let alone actually make a profit. You know, it says in the article in our 2022 review of Disney Plus, we said fans of Marvel and Star Wars and surrounding interests are kind of trapped there since it's almost too much content uh, and too steady of a stream of it to ignore. Yeah, because what they do is they just flood it with content in hopes to keep the, the people engaged, which ends up not working. Why? Well, because first of all, they've destroyed the franchises. Second of all, uh, normal people don't want to pay to see a lot of the woke garbage they're enforcing uh, into into their content, their allegedly family friendly content, where they're uh, slipping in all these these uh, like like gay innuendos, all sort of stuff. They're slipping in feminist ideologies. I mean, with the recent Indiana Jones film, it was pretty much just blatantly open this feminist ideology. You know, they'll, they'll have all kinds of like anti white racism. They'll have all the other stuff that is slipped in there. Why? And you wonder why people are are ditching you and you're losing all these subscribers. I mean, again, this is back in February. They're trying to put a positive spin on it, but. As of now, they even the parks are failing. That's the blunt reality. So, and, and and a big part of it is the fact that they are slipping all this ideology into their films. You know, go woke, go broke. It's not just an empty phrase. It's the blunt and brutal reality that they don't want to accept. Like I said at the beginning of this video, so they're going to keep failing and failing and failing until they actually. Because the definition of insanity is was when you keep doing the same things over and over and expecting different results. So they're going to keep failing until they actually stop the basically engaging in the definition of insanity. I'll put it that way. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.